Hi everybody, thanks for coming today. We're going to be working on um, making a 3D sculpture today out of recyclable cardboard. And when we're finished with the project, it will look something like, like this. Um, let's see, good size. Mine's kind of, I, I took it apart about four times and put it back together again. So what we're going to do first is we're going to need our, our cardboard. We're going to cover our work surface with some plastic. And we're going to go around the house and find some shapes again, bigger shapes. We want scissors. We want tempered paint because we're going to be painting with, with paint today. You could also use your markers today if you would like. We're going to need a paper plate to add and put our paint on to make our palette with all our paints. We're going to need a small sponge or sponges that you could cut into any shapes to do some stamping. You'll need a paintbrush. Uh, use about five colors, I would say. And what you want to do first is we're going to take our pieces and stick them on the cardboard. We're going to trace around our pieces. When we're all done putting our pieces and traced all on the cardboard, we need to cut them out. This might be a little bit hard uh, for children because it's, it's kind of hard to cut cardboard, so they might need some help with that. When you have all of your shapes cut out and you're ready to paint, uh, you'll put your paint on your paper plate, the colors that you would like. And let me show you um, some of the patterns that I did. I did like circles with an upside down cup. I used a cork to make just a whole bunch of dots. I did straight painting. I used the stamp sponge to make stamps in the cardboard. I made little flowers with the cork by stamping around in that shape. I threw paint on cardboard and then like kind of dragged it and swirled it with plastic. You don't even have to do actual squares, circles, diamonds, rectangles, those type of shapes. You could just be have fun and make like cut little jagged edges into like some color that you paint, you know, one of them that you painted. You could do little swirly patterns if you like. I did half circles. I did whole circles and then kind of chunk out to make it look like Pac-Man. And this, this piece is done with markers. That piece is done with markers. And of course, this is what the paint looks like. So the paint is more vivid uh, and, and looks better, but if you don't want your kids to paint, you can use markers. So I'm going to show you how I did these squares. So I took my cardboard, and then I took my sponge, and I dipped it in the paint. And you can cut your sponges in squares or rectangles or any shape you'd like, and you just, you just stamp it. And then if you want to mix colors, you can do that. So you get all different colors. If you want to be very creative and make squiggles or dots with your brush, just dip your brush in and just kind of, you could just do whatever you like. If you want to make small dots, use the end of your brush. And that'll give you small dots. To make the flower, you just take the end of the cork and dip it in the paint. And then you just go around the outside and then one for the middle. So when you painted all of your, your pieces, you need to let them dry at least uh, 12 hours. When they're dry, you're going to take your pieces. And you're going to need to cut these like little slits, these little V's, because that is how your sculpture goes together. They slip into one another, and that's how you'll be able to put it together. 
And what's nice about it is you, if you don't like what you did, you could take them all apart and you could start all over again. So let me just do a, just a little sample on the V. You don't want a really big V. You want, you want to just get like a little tiny slot, a little slice in there, if you can see that right there. Um, if they're too big, they won't stick together. And you want to go around and do at least three sides so you have an option of where you want to slip them in and hook them together. And then when you do that, you have all your slots, then you could take all your pieces and you could start to build by slip, just like I said, just by slipping them together. Start big and then work your way around. Try to get your pieces so that they're facing forward when your sculpture's standing, uh, so it's not backwards. And then you could just then start to build up. Build out first, and then you could build up. Once you got it kind of standing, then you could start to go upward. I don't have any more pieces cut. But that's basically what you would do to make your sculpture. I hope you had fun today. Enjoy.